ready and racing now. Major build jump well. So did Sky Lab and Knight sort of being reined up early. Just Fine's coming across with it. Kimura pushed up on the fence, holding a very forward roll early. Clear from Montefilia. Benno's got a handy spot. King Frankel's being reined up to improve his position. Navajo Peak on his coattails. Further back then to Alabir from Bold Mac. Sitting back on the inside of Sky Lab and the last two protagonists and Manzoy. So Knight sort of came across to lead and the stable maiden favourite Just Fine got across with him and sits a half length away. King Frankel couldn't find a spot in. He's cast three deep in the early part, followed by Major Beale, just holding his position on the outside of Kimura. Two lengths further back in the field, then to Benno in advance of Montefilia. Then came Navajo Peak, a length and a half to Alabia. Then Sky Lab from Bold Mac protagonist. And Manzois last about 14 lengths off the lead. So it's Knight's order at the 1,000 metres, leading the way by three quarters to Just Fine. King Frankel covering ground the run. Then Kimura, Major Bill, well positioned fifth. Length and a half then to the Wyong Cup winner, the Grey Benno, in advance of Montefilia. Further back to the last start winner, Navajo Peak peak from Alabia. Skylab being nudged along now from Bold Mac protagonist and Manzois will have to come from last to beat them here in the Kingston town. King Frankel putting some pepper into the race of the 600 metres. Moved up on the outside at Knight's Order and just fine. There's three of them battling it out now with Benno going to third. Major Bill being pushed along in fifth. Modifile is pulling to the outside starting to hit the line well. Just fine now made the move inside the 400 metres and just fine taken to the front by Bayless and now he Winds it up. Benno, Modifilia chasing. So's Major Bill back towards the inside. But just fine. Inside the 200 is going boldly just fine. From Benno, Modifilia. They can't get there. Just fine. The European import's going to go back to back and does it in style again. Benno kicked on well for second in front of Modifilia. Followed in by Protagonist. Then came Major Bill. Skylab Alabir next from Navajo Peak. Further back to Knight's Order. He got very tired from Bold Mac. Man Zois and King Frank Ola and Kamora weakened right out of it. Good horse, the winner. Here, here, Darren. Well, favourite for the Metropolitan before they even jumped away in that race. What price is he going to be now? Six dollars. Six dollars before the Kingston Town. He's romped away with it. So we can stamp him now, Ronnie. Yeah, good horse. Very good horse. Uh, he, he did it again. He got no favours from his stable mate there, Knight's Order. Sitting outside a good speed again and then sprinting off it. You do not see that often. And if Montefilia, it was a certainty on the point of the turn. She had her chance and maybe... I'm not saying a light of other days, but she, her old form would just clean them up uh, from the position and the run that she had. Benno's in form, but it's all about this winner. He is a lovely, lovely horse. Before Corey comments, I'll uh, add a further bit of spice to it, Ronnie. Two minutes, 0.39. Wow. Two minutes, 0.39. The Randwick track record. Long one, old one. Yeah, Hampton Court. Remember that day, 2014? Yep. Uh, ran very quick. It's a class record. The, well, Taika Mochi held it. Uh, two minutes and eight four. So, but but nearly a track record. Sixteen thirteen four seven. Quickly, Corey. Super impressive, especially when the the pressure went on with Tyler Schiller, King Frankel, putting the pressure on about the eight hundred metre mark. You don't see horses sit outside lead, receive the pressure from the half mile, and still win like that. That Tim, was super impressive. Tim Ryan, what price in the Metropolitan? Four dollars. Four dollars. Six into four after the Kingston Town. Congratulations, you are dealing with a very nice horse. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Very, very impressive. Um, you know, obviously it was a, a great performance on, on debut here over the mile. Gave an indication that we thought he'd sort of do that going going over a little bit further as well. Um, but to do it up in this grade with the sort of the pressure and the shape of the race, the way it worked out, and, and to, to win in that fashion, um, yeah, certainly some, some really encouraging signs. Two great runs now in Australia, and he's $4 favourite for the Metro. He's really burst onto the scene quickly. Yeah, he's made a made a huge statement in just his his two starts. Um, yeah, obviously very very nice progressive horse. So a lot of upside there. As I said, the the, the 
the manner in which he won today off you know, the pressure a long way from home and to quicken off that the way he did certainly um, you know, certainly looks to be well above average for us. And you'd like to hope that just two weeks he'll be even better in the Metropolitan. After two runs, surely he gets better. Look, he's, he, he was nice and forward for his first up run, but I think just that natural sort of improvement under the conditions here in Australia, he's, he, he's still open a little bit more. His Majesty will be ruining the fact that he let this one go. Yeah, well, look, it's, um, you know, I'm sure it'll give him a lot of satisfaction sort of having had the previous connection. Um, hopefully entices them to you know, race some, some, some more horses down here them, themselves. With Gay and Adrian. That'll be great. <laughs> Congratulations, Reid. You're cooking with Gay Sam, mate. Mate, he's a, um, he's a very serious horse, and um, he's still getting, he'll still get him well with the handicaps, but I think eventually he'll be a wait for age stayer here in Australia, and the best is yet to come. He's a little bit above himself today compared to the other day. He seemed to walk out in the yard. He was a, a touch above himself. Brownie had a few things against him. As you said, he, was just, he knew what he was here for today up on his toes, never really was able to take a breath. Still got into a good rhythm, but he got attacked from the half mile and that set him alight and to his credit he was still able to knuckle down and win, um, win very well. Well done, buddy. Thank you.